Hello, I'm Sophie and this is Vincent and welcome to Newbury News at Nine. Tonight we have a range of different events planned for you, ranging from a world record being broken to a robbery in Paris. First up tonight we will jump to Auckland, where Kenzie is interviewing a recent world record breaker. This world record hasn't been broken in 100 years. Wow, that's great! Kenzie is about to tell us what this record is and how many attempts it took her to break it. So, thanks to Kara for joining us tonight with this exclusive story. Over to you. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Newbury News at Nine. Today we have a very important announcement. That Dylan just broke the world record for the most jump ropes in the world record. Can we all give an applause for Dylan? Thanks everyone. I can't do a big performance today because I've got a big show lined up this afternoon. Oh sorry, that must have been from a YouTube video I just watched. How much, um, how much, how much jump ropes did you really do? I did 1,100. Holy heck, that's heaps. It was quite easy actually, I just did what comes naturally to me. Sounds hard, maybe I should take off my heels. Okay Kenzie, listen, you never ever take off your heels. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get the jump rope and you're going to put it over your head and then when it gets to your feet, you're going to jump. Okay. That was pretty hard, thank you. You're welcome. Now back to Vincent's, Vincent and Sophie. Kenzie. Well, I don't think your heart skipped a beat when you decided to start skipping. Now, up next in this bizarre story coming right from Hamilton. Now, what is our interviewee claiming that he saw, Jackie? Now, do scientists know the cause of this strange event? And does our experts on this case think we will be seeing another one of these strange events anytime soon? Has there been any other occurrence like this in history? Or is the first of its kind? Over to Jackie and Bossy Bun, who are keeping us updated with this event. Hello, I'm Jackie Boo and this is Bossy Bun. Hi, I'm Bossy Bun and thank you for having me here today. What did you see, Bossy Bun? I saw a rainbow sheep on the 30th of December 2020 at 11.30am. It was all the colours of the rainbow. It was red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet and indigo. Are you sure it wasn't a prank by someone else, like spray painted on, or was it real? I'm absolutely sure it's real. I got up on a sunny Sunday morning and decided to go for a stroll. When I, when I got outside, I saw a rainbow and decided to follow it. When I got to the end after walking for an hour, there was nothing there and decided to turn around and go back. But when I turned around, I heard a strange bleating sound. And when I turned to the left, there it was, the rainbow sheep. Where did you make this sighting, Bossy Bun? Uh, it was in on the Stewart Island, 4K out of Oban on the, from the South Island. Thanks, Bosty Bun, for that totally real sighting. Now back to you, Sophie and Vincent. Now let's go to our next story. A large lion has recently escaped Wellington Zoo. How'd this lion get out in the first place? Is the lion back in safely at the zoo? And why did the lion try to escape? We will now be handing over to Molly, who is here to give us an update about this situation. Thanks, Sophie and Vincent. 
I'm Jenna Rose and joining me is Molly and Jade. So, what did you see? We saw a lion jump over the fence and it escaped the zoo. How did everyone react with, with this lion escaping the zoo? Terrible. Everyone was screaming and running for their lives. Luckily no one got hurt and hopefully it returns. Where and when did this happen? Wellington Zoo, 2.47pm. The police are still on the hunt for the missing lion. Thanks for your time Molly and Jade. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for the update Molly. Now tonight, jo joining us with our next story is William. We bring to you the highlights from the final championship between the famous sumo wrestlers, Jing Jing and Ling. Hello Jing Jing and Ling, what happened in the sumo ring last night? I was pretty sure I ate 10 kgs more food than I was supposed to. I ate I was having a good time until all of a sudden my, my stomach started to rumble and then I threw a whole bunch of food, threw up a whole bunch of food on Ling and it felt good. So, so exactly what type of food did you eat that made you throw up that much on Ling? Well, before the fight, me and Jing Jing had a huge feast. I had 12 dumplings while on the other hand, like Jing Jing had 48 dumplings, a packet of chicken flavour noodles, a huge onion, 13 blocks of chocolates and 74 packets of lollies. Hey Jing Jing and Ling, is there anything in common that you two have or do you know each other? Nobody would guess this but me and, J me and Ling are actually twins but I'm the more dominant male and Ling is the w as weak as a mouse. So Jing Jing, you think you are more dominant but I'm the smarter brother and that's why I won last night. You might have thrown up on me, but that will never stop me from looking up to my dreams and being the best sumo wrestler ever. Ha ha, in your dreams, Ling. You'll never beat me from now on. <laughs> ah, my eyes. Thanks for your time. Back to the studio. your time William. Now let's jump straight over to Grace and Stella to the weather to find out what this week's weather is going to be. Thank you Sophie and Vincent. Hi I'm Grace and I'm Stella and we are your local weather reporters. We are starting here in the North Island of New Zealand. It's cloudy with a slight chance of meatballs. And there is this weird weather cloud hanging over New Plymouth. It looks like a tornado. That's right folks, I would advise you to get out of there. Moving down to Rotorua, they have developed a new smell. That's right, we have a fresh smell of fish and spinach here, an interesting fragrance. How lovely. Moving on to the capital city, Wellington. It smells as though Wellington has stolen Rotorua's smell. That's right, it seems some are choking back tears due to the smell. Moving on to Napier, just normal weather, clouds and rain. And in Whanganui, sunny with a chance of a sun shower. Yes, it looks like it might rain too. Over in Palmerston North, everyone is running around like chickens. Yes, they are indeed. New sales at Countdown. Two four dollars are the chocolate prices. Oh, let's hurry and move on. I want to be in time to watch Sesame Street. Right over in Gisborne, there is a fair that everyone's packed a picnic for. And in the South Island, it is sunny everywhere and at the very bottom of the South Island, there has been a sight of a rainbow sheep. Well, I might as well pack my bags and head over there then. 
Oh, right you are, Stella. That's all from me and Stella for now. Good night, New Zealand, and we'll spot you tomorrow. Back to the news desk. Sophie and Vincent. Thank you for joining us tonight on this exclusive episode of Newbury News at Nine. We'll, we'll see, see you next time on Newbury News at Nine.